Hey everybody, it's Paul with ScreencastLibrary.com with another quick video tip for you. We get a lot of questions about how to create watermarks in Photoshop Elements. So luckily, it's really easy to do and I'm going to teach you how to do that right now. And I'm going to show you how to create a text watermark that you can use to watermark your images. So whether you want to watermark it with your name or your website address, or anything, it's really easy to do. So let's start off by creating a new file. So in Photoshop Elements, click on File, New, Blank File. I'm gonna name it Watermark. And then the size really doesn't matter. I'll just have it 800 by 600. Doesn't really matter though. And then I'm gonna change the background to a darker background just so it's easier to see. So click on the paint bucket. All right, now that we have an area to work with, time for our text. So let's click on the text tool or you can use your hotkey of T for text. And our next step is to decide on the color of our text. And you can do that right up here. I'm going to go with kind of a light gray color. And then you can decide on your font size. And also your font. You can use any kind of font, any size, any color, doesn't matter. Once you have that, just click anywhere in this image and type in your text. Okay, now we have our text. And the next step is to make the text look a little bit better. And I do that by creating a bevel effect. First though, I want to show you in our layers panel, it created a new layer for our text. And that is going to allow us to edit just the text, just the watermark. So it's a cool thing. And you'll see why in a minute. Okay. So under effects, click on layer styles, which is the second one, and then bevels right here. And there's different bevels. You just left click, hold that left mouse button down and drag it over and then drop it. And there's all kinds of cool effects. If you don't like it, just click on undo. That one's kind of cool. I like that one. So choose a bevel that you like that kind of jazzes up the text a little bit. Then the other step is to change the opacity. We can do that here or in our image. Um, I'll actually show you both places, but to change the opacity to make this look more like a watermark, click in this layers area on our layer. This won't work if you have the background selected, so make sure that you select the actual text layer. Then right here under opacity is where you're going to change the opacity. So just click on that and reduce the slider and that will reduce the opacity of our text. So it still shows up, but it's not at 100% of opacity, so it looks more like a watermark. So that's good about right there. Now you could save this file and you don't even have to worry about the background, that doesn't matter. But you can save this file as your watermark file and you have this watermark here. And now to get it into another image, all you have to do is drop it in. So down here, I have another image here in my clip bin. I'm going to drop it in. So with this layer selected, I click on the move tool, left click, hold that left mouse button down and just drag it on down and let go when I'm over the image I want to drop it into. All right, there we go. So we've now put it in our image. And then to make it larger, just click on these little boxes on the side and just drag your mouse with your left mouse key to make it larger and then you can also just move it with the move tool anywhere you want inside this image and you have a great looking watermark now what you can also do either in your watermark file or even once you've moved it over you can still change this text because it's another layer of this picture so for example, if you want to change the text, just click on that text tool and you could type something else in completely different if you wanted to. Or you could highlight it and change the color. So like if you don't like this gray because it doesn't look as good with this image, you could change it to yellow if you wanted to. Or you could change the font. So you could do all that and then click on that move tool and again, move it anywhere you want. And 
The other thing you can do is also change the opacity from here as well. So you just click on the layer, and if you want a different opacity for this particular image for your watermark, you could do that. Maybe move it in the middle. And there you go, you have a great looking watermark in Photoshop, and you can put it in any of your images. If you'd like other tips like this, please visit us at www.screencastlibrary.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.